I wanted to use my last um, edition of Jazz Fest Berlin to present some musicians from London. That seemed the right thing to do since I'm very familiar with the London scene. And I wanted to show that whatever the politicians decide, the uh, collaboration between musicians in London and Berlin will continue into the future. The two scenes in London and Berlin are very similar in many ways. They're very active, very energetic. There's a lot of creative music being made. They're very multicultural. They suffer from the same kind of pressures, but also the same opportunities. And I wanted to put on these three nights in which musicians from Berlin and London are collaborating together for the first time to show that and to show that, as I said, whatever happens, there is still a lot of potential for creative interplay. Jazz has always been a political music. It's always been a vehicle for protest. That continues. A festival like Jazz Fest Berlin is the ideal vehicle for that, I think. Collaboration and cooperation are better than division and exclusion. And that, of course, is what those of us who are not fans of Brexit are worried about, that um, it's, it's another way of politicians building walls between us rather than encouraging us to relate to each other more closely. There isn't a movement um, of British jazz musicians against Brexit, but most musicians in London will be unhappy about the idea of having their freedom of movement uh, restricted. Um, they will probably once again need work permits to go to Europe and play with colleagues there. Whereas for the last 30 years, it's been very easy to, to move around and it's been very fruitful. It's led to a lot of wonderful music, a lot of you know, great, interesting thinking, interesting innovations. and. I know that musicians in London, the vast majority of them, will be unhappy with anything that places restrictions on that. Mm -hmm.